Oh, I'm so lucky I caught that shit. Holy crap. Oh. I was I was editing a video, I'm putting it together now and I'm rendering that one, putting a different one together and holy caught that shit. Thank god and I can't risk losing that 2k. Oh, and this, I got this from a casket. Anyways guys, update, boom, 6.4k to 60. I'll see you guys then. Could be the kill right here for the level 60 attack. I'm hoping, let me just put on star, there we go. Oh boy, I, I actually might, oh, I'm gonna be one experience. Oh my goodness, one experience off. That is not good. I won't be able to get a picture properly, but there it is. Just about six, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack it. No, I can't attack it and run away, shit. What the hell has like a one HP I can attack? Oh, here we go. Oh, it would lose its aggro right as I'm about to do it. All right, here it is. Boom! 60 attack has been achieved. Fuck yeah. 28k to level that is so far away. 59 combat. Oh, yeah. All right, so now I'm just going to plan out what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, no, I said I'm going to be getting the flax, but I just want to see the stats that I currently need to get anyways. Uh, so I'm going to just continue attacking them, I guess, for now. Not really a big deal. I don't really care too much about the being efficient part of an Iron Man account. I guess the first thing I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to go and get myself... Am I on world 1 or 2? Two? 2, right? Yeah, okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is get myself 36 wood cutting and then 31 crafting. I will get through just doing the uh, the flax and the bowstrings, but I haven't touched my bank in like a week just because um, I've been up the, at the crabs the entire time. So there's my bank currently fucking right, 6k GP or 7k. Um, first thing I must as well do is go get myself more steel plate body so I can afford the dragon longsword. And I can also afford a rune skirt from the one store in al for like 40k, so I can probably get that later on as well. Still have the adamant for now. Should be good enough for now since I'm not really attacking anything too crazy. And I'll use those chaos runes and the spell thingy for the gnome village and then the quests after that as well so I can kill the black demon. And that will be just about three quests done out of five for uh, Nightmare Zone. So, here we go with my steel axe. We're going to make some gains. And I'm also going to probably bank the oak logs just because in the future I'll probably want to make oak planks for construction. So I just normally cut them right here. I might go to camp. Actually, never mind. Camp is a fucking long way. And if I, ha I just normally hop if both these trees are down. It takes about two seconds. But yeah, I'll see you guys. This isn't that bad experience, actually. Steel axe for the win. Anyways, I will see you guys shortly with probably... I'm going to try to just record once I get 36, right? 36? Yeah, 36 wood cutting and then I'll record again. Let's go steel axe. Let's do it. All right, guys, and here we're so far 35, uh, not attack, 35 wood cutting. This is something that Orion does as well that I can kind of show you guys. I can show you guys the uh, every single picture, actually, that I gained the level. So there's 24. So I'm going to do a quick little slideshow. There you guys go. As you can see, the entire time I've been using my steel axe. And it's actually not even that bad, to be honest. I thought a steel axe would be a lot slower, but I mean, I don't really notice a difference. I guess normally when you would cut, you AFK anyway, so you don't really notice uh, how many you're getting, but not bad. I thought 36 would take a lot longer because, uh, you know, the steel axe, but I guess not. And I did bring, as you guys can tell, some fire runes. In case I get one of those little tree things that pop out and I can randomly try to attack it with this, hopefully this does okay. I'm, I'll probably die because I have no food anyways, though, which is not good because if I die, there's all this, but yep. Now I'm going to probably have to go back and cut regular trees and more oak trees in the future just to get my fletching up and then I can do yews. I'm going to probably have to chop yew trees all the way to at least like 70 wood cutting and then take all the yew logs and fletch them. Probably not going to make them into bow strings uh, because that's just a lot of extra work. I'd rather just cut maples maybe and then after uh, I fletch maples I can out those in the future. So that might be the future plan for that. Uh, but wood cutting is something I need to start doing because I can't afford any armor. And uh, wood cutting is the best way that I'm going to be making it from fletching and then alking them. Once I get my armors and a good amount of GP, I should be able to start moving forward pretty quickly. Once I do get my armors, I think I'm going to probably camp uh, hill... Ooh, not, not that one. There we go. Uh, probably going to camp hill giants just for its big bones and just get myself like 43 prayers slowly. Um, or I could just kill dragons in the future, but we'll see about that. Hopefully if I have good enough armor by then, I can actually do that. And once I hit the big 70 combat, that is when I will start my sling. So I'm still got a little while to camp a few things, get some prayer levels. Maybe we'll work on some rain artists to kill some druids. Uh, then once I hit the 70 combat, that is when shit's going to get real. I'm going to start doing Slayer. I also need to unlock Cave Horrors later on for the Black Mass Drops. i got to start farming and crap. But uh, once I get money, once again, I can level farming construction at exactly the same time with those plants. Get like level 30 each of those pretty quickly. And uh, that can start doing herbs right away. I think that costs around 500k coins or so, that, that won't take too long. It's like 1k you, I gotta cut and then alk and stuff like that, so yeah. And the nature runes, I'm gonna probably have to use the um, the spirit 
the not the spirit tree. Once I do uh farming questing in part two, I guess I can start using the fairy rings. I'll probably use that. <laughs> we have like a freaking runescape anti botter right here. And <laughs> so walking around people to trees and seeing if they're botting. <laughs> That's actually pretty cute, I ain't gonna lie. Mod the sky objects. Alright, here we go as we approach 36. Now I'm gonna go to the gym right now. Uh, whenever I do get back, I'll begin recording my flax picking and then I'm gonna turn them into boosters as well. So see you guys when I get back. Here we go for the 36 woodcut though. Another hour. And there it is. Beautiful. Off to the flax field. Alright guys, we are back from the gym. So I just got home now. Logged on and fucking chopping a tree. Go back over there. So left my guy at the bank. 100 energy. Fucking smart move. And I had kind of a brain fart. I don't actually have the level to spin flax, which is very embarrassing. Uh, so I'm going to have to bank these ones and then go back to Lumbridge, kill some cows, get some cowhide. And then I'll spin 1,000 flax whenever I'm at Lumbridge Castle. Holy shit, I'm already bored. This ain't going to be fun. No wonder people bought this shit. What the, like, what the hell is this? This is going to be my first time ever picking over like 300 flax at a time. I remember when Old School first came out, I picked like 500 because it was like impossible to get anywhere uh, anything else for crafting, so I just picked myself 500 and, yep, I believe, yeah, I've already done one inventory from the start of this series, so I have that many, put that back over there, alright, let's do this, alright guys, so here's the, yeah, all the flax picking that I've done so far on this account, now I did reach 1,000 flax, which you guys will see at the very end, which I thought was exactly how much I needed, and it turns out, I think I got like 84 more than I was supposed to get, but, um, yeah, so here's an obvious, uh, sped up clip for you guys, um, I didn't really record the entire trip of me picking the flax. Uh, I just kind of recorded the ending where I put it in my bank. Um, but this took a... I don't really time exactly how long this took, but I will tell you guys, when I got to 500, I thought I was, like, halfway done, obviously, which I am. But the last part of that uh, 500 was really bad. By far the most boring thing I've so far done on my Iron Man account, by far times 10. I didn't think I was going to make it, honestly. I thought I was going to have to like, take a break and log out and do something else or go outside and do something, like fucking punch something. But I was able to do it in one sitting, which is very nice, but it was a very long time. I'm very thankful for something like Nightmare Zone. I'll be able to do Nightmare Zone for most of my flax, hopefully by the time I get higher combat level. But as you guys will see in the uh, sped up clip that I did start doing a quest uh, because I went up my main account, or at least my number one boss account, and I checked to see uh, if there was enough flax picking thingies on, on the ground. Uh, near that Slayer Cave, the, the new naive Slayer Master person where that cave is. Um, the one that requires you to have it as a Slayer task in order for you to attack the monster in there. Um, so I did go there. There was three, three little flax picking thingy flowers on the ground, whatever you want to honestly call it. Um, and I tested it out and it was pretty good. So I actually ended up doing the quest so I could unlock that area. Um, well, technically I can unlock that area already. Uh, but I might as well do the quest since I'm there anyways. I can obviously enter the city through the actual entrance if I just went around and I didn't really have to do the quest, but I'm going to have to do the quest anyways in the future. It's an obvious quest. And I also need to do the quest right after it later on. I'm going to probably do that today um, with the uh, the Black Demon, which I'm going to need anyways for Nightmare Zone. Though I am thinking I might not unlock the Black Demon because from, uh, from what I remember, my friends tell me that our lower levels, uh, the Black Demon is really hard to hit on in Nightmare Zone. So I'm, I'm thinking I might not actually unlock it, but... Every time I attack the Black Demon, like, I hit the most on that thing because it has, like, no defense. But I guess it only has, like, no defense if you have very high attack and strength. Then you hit a lot of 40s on it. But for lower levels, apparently it's not that good. So I'm debating on maybe not unlocking that at the moment. But yeah, not a horrible spot to pick flax. I mean, it's a lot less depressing than other freaking fields where you literally just run back and forth. Um, I believe the canyon method's pretty efficient if you were to actually string them on your way back. Uh, but since I didn't have the level at the time, I, I was literally just wasting a lot of time running back and forth from the bank. Uh, with this method, I can almost always run back and forth to the bank. I hardly had to walk because the, uh, the distance between the flax and the bank was not that far at all. So that was perfect for me. That worked out pretty well. But yeah, so without talking about too much flax, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And I'll see you guys in the next clip right after this speed. I'm going to make this exactly three minutes long. So five, four, three, two, one. Ugh. You guys have no idea how fucking boring this was. Holy shit. Anyways, I probably just uh, put the, uh, I'll probably just put the footage of me collecting a thousand uh, in front of this footage now. So you guys probably just got back from listening to me talk about how I just picked 1k flax. So I won't talk about it now. But anyways, there we go. This is a thousand once I get there. And the entire time I actually have been trading divination. So I haven't wasted any experience. Which is pretty good, I guess. Oops, full inventory. Okay, there we go. There it is. <sighs> That feels so good. That feels so good. Oh my goodness. 
Alright, so the next thing we're going to be doing now is killing cows, getting my crafting level to uh, the 10, and then I'm going to go and uh, do my 1k bowstrings, and then I should be good for 31 crafting, hopefully. I really don't think I've ever actually picked 1k flax on this game. Like, I know back in the day I picked a few flax, but I never found it to be something that I could see myself doing for a while, so I just stopped picking. I think I probably picked like maybe like 150 in the past, besides when old school came out, but that's crazy. I can happily say I picked 1k flax in 2014. Whoop! These cows would be full. What the hell? Yeah, much better. Right, let's kill this one out here. Alright, so I'll be back when I have a full inventory. I'm not too sure how many inventories of cow hides I'm going to have to get. I think the hard leather is like level 20 crafting, so I don't want to even bother needing that. Um, I'm going to cry if killing cows and using the leathers is quicker than picking flax and spinning it, but I highly doubt it is. Alright, first inventory is complete. Let's do this. There are only 14 experience each. Oh, this is going to take for. I don't think. I think I did like three inventories. What? It's going to take forever to get fucking 10 crafting. Can't believe I just said that. What the hell the fuck did I do this before? I think I did some other shit. I have no idea. I probably bought the, the leathers. That's why I didn't notice how freaking slow this was going to be. I can't even. Wait, I can mine gold ores and make gold something. Hmm. I might do that. Never mind, I can't I can't take the gold ore and make it into a gold bar and then make it to a necklace, so kinda screwed on that part. I'm probably gonna do the quest pretty soon that gives me the twenty nine smithing or whatever it is, and then just quickly get like forty or so, then it make it see makes it even. Um get, do I have to pay ten GP just to get this way? Wow, you do. Alright, second inventory. Let's do this. I'll probably get level nine just because it's a freaking troll. I'm almost seven though, I can make boots at level seven, so might get level ten almost. Yep, level 9 before my inventory is done. I think I have two more in my bank, actually. Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, one more trip. At least I can now make the cowl or the coal. How do people want to say it? That's a nice range bonus. Right, so I'm going to uh, finish this up, guys, and then go ahead and spin my 1k flax. And I'm going to see if that will even get me level 31. Alright, perfect. Orion says I need 13.8k experience till level... Uh, level 31 crafting right now, so that will get me a little bit above 31, probably level 32 crafting, and then I can go ahead and start the uh, the quest, and then make some money for my dragon lawn. So I'll see you guys soon whenever I do, uh, I'll probably just do my bowstrings first, and then I'll start recording again. I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so welcome to another little bit of a talk over now. Most of these clips, well, all these clips that you guys will be seeing is me doing some quests, and it was all also live streamed, so uh, I don't really exactly have a proper talk over for it for you guys or commentary. So, like I said, I'll be doing a talk over for most of my quests if I ever do it during the streams. So the first quest I did after getting all the crafting requirements, obviously, and the woodcutter requirement is Lost City. Unfortunately, can't buy myself a Dragon Longsword yet because I don't have 100k cash to buy it from the store. Um, I do have the diamond that you need to get into the room, though, where you buy it, because that was from uh, Waterfall Quest. Luckily enough, I actually got that done. That, that, that's lovely how it just fits together. I swear Jax meant for this game to be freaking Iron Man or some shit like that. And you guys, you guys, as you guys will see in the background, I am Woodcutting Crystal Trees on RS3. So, as always, never losing any experience. But, yes, Lost City was done. The next quest I did was uh, Vampire Slayer, I believe. Yeah, the Vampire Slayer. That is a quest that you need for Nightmare Zone anyways. So, very good to start doing it anyways. It does give you attack experience, which I probably should have done earlier. But, like I said, since I was AF King Rock Crabs, I couldn't really care less about the experience I was getting. And the experience I was getting couldn't be increased by too much anyways because it was really just depending on the spawn rates, um, or the spawn time at least. So after that I did a uh, Druidic Ritual, I think I was, that's that one, right? Yeah, the one where you start for herb lore skill, level 3 herb lore you get right away. So yeah, I did that quest obviously very easy. Uh, doing quests on Iron Man isn't too much different than doing it on a regular account to be honest. Because uh, you do have to get most of your stuff from scratch unless you buy like quest kits. I noticed quest kits for things like... Uh, like a bigger quest, like maybe like a Legends quest, or de definitely Desert Treasure must have one. Um, just, uh, you know, the bigger quests that, you know, people will get a lot of items for. I'm sure you can buy quest kits like that, but I don't really think I've ever really bought a quest kit. I just kind of get my own shit, so doing on an Iron Man account really isn't much of a difference than doing it on a regular account for any type of quest. The only difference is I have to walk everywhere, and I can't teleport everywhere to make it, you know, to get there quickly. That's the only difference, but getting the materials is exactly the same thing. The next quest I did was uh, Goblin Diplomacy, and holy sh... No, no, wait, it wasn't Goblin, not yet. I did not do one yet. I did, the first one I did was um, the Knight's Sword. These are all mostly free-to-play quests, so you guys obviously know about them. But the Knight's Sword gets you 29 smithing right away, which is awesome, so I knocked that one out of the park. And that one took me a little while because I had to get all the, uh, the, 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 the uh, what is it, the pie thing I had to get. 
get the pie shell from like a spawn thingy and things like that. All right, so the next quest I did after that one was Goblin Diplomacy, which is a little bit annoying because I had to go around and get all the dyes. I normally just buy the dyes from like my main account from the uh, when you teleport to Leti, or whatever quest it is. You know, the quest where the little elves are and shit. There's a store that sells like every single die, like a stock of 10 of each. Um, that is normally where I get all my dyes if I ever need them for any account or for any of my friends that need them. It takes like three seconds to get them. But on this account, obviously, I had to get all the supplies. So you go to Fally for the little blue leaves. You go to Varrock, you know, entrance for the red ones. And then another one was uh, onions, which you can just pick from like Lumbridge or Remington. Then the obvious quest, I did a sheep shirt shearer. Is it shear? Yeah, that one is obviously a members one as well that gives you like a lot of quest points, but it's a very annoying quest to do. Did that one as well. You give like 20 wool or some crap. And then last but not least, I did the quest shield of Arab, which is obviously requires me to trade someone. So you guys will see me trade someone on this video, uh, which is actually my IRL friend Jason. Uh, he's also doing some stuff on his account. So, you know, we, we did it on stream together anyway, so it was all fun, I guess. But yes, that is the uh, the questing part so far complete, guys. Not too many quests I've yet done, but uh, I mean, currently I'm sitting at 29 quest points right now. Uh, I've done many of the quests that are kind of important for me at the moment to do at least. Um, obviously, I'll be, I'll be doing a lot more later on, but for right now, that's all I need. Um, I need to do one or two more quests at the very least to unlock the Nightmare Zone bosses, and then I could actually go there. And I could also teleport there with the little minigame thingy, because you can't actually teleport the Nightmare Zone with the little minigame teleport if you don't have the requirements to even go inside an actual Nightmare Zone yourself. Um, so that's kind of interesting. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support on all the episodes, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. With hopefully a lot more progress. I mean, this one made quite a bit, I believe. Yeah, I think this one made like at least two days of progress or so. But anyways, thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you guys next episode.